This is Christine and Barry, the founders of Carson Springs Wildlife Foundation. This wildlife refuge is located on more than 200 acres of land. We've always been in the animal business. We were in thoroughbred horse racing. I was a trainer. My husband and I were the breeders of champion horses in the Midwest, and he was also a jockey's agent. All right, the first stop on our tour is the laughing kookaburras. <laughs> the kookaburras are awake. In 2001, we decided to go to Africa because cheetahs had always been my favorite animal. And we actually flew to Africa right after 9-11, which was a little bit scary, but we figured it's, it's now or never. Oh, well, that's a happy sound. That <laughs> sounds like a growl. And we got involved with a cheetah conservation organization. I became a trustee of that organization, and we bought a farm in South Africa. Oh, it's not. It's a happy hiatus. It's a, I'm so glad you're here, Mommy. So we had that with our partner in the conservation for a number of years. Scarlett was born here. Her parents came from Tanzania, and they were surplus at another zoo. We decided to convert our horse farm in Gainesville, Florida, into a foundation, a conservation, support for wild cheetahs and a park for people in north central florida and actually all over the country to come and learn about these animals and her mother shenzi had a lot of litters and has supplied hyenas to a lot of top zoos in the in america we have group tours available every saturday at 10 in the morning now we're getting up pretty close to the sloth He's just hanging out. There we go, show the teeth. That's right. Now we're off to see Spirit the Cheetah. Mornings being the best time to see the animals. It's a two hour walking tour. It's 35 an adult, 15 under 12, two and under is free. We also offer private tours with your own zoologist during the week. We're off on the golf cart ride. There's a kitty. <laughs> yeah, there's a kitty. And those prices vary. They all can be found, the booking, on our website. We'll place a link to their website in the description below. So Barry pet the cheetah, but he instructed us not to since she doesn't know us very well. I think he's brave to pet her even though he knows her. <laughs> so many big cats here and we also have add-ons when animals are available such as the baby lemurs which are $45 to go in the cage with them and play with them <laughs> check out this guy <laughs> oh he left sad hey there can we pet you <laughs> he wants to climb on you he's like look a little girl <laughs> <laughs> oh, he likes the fringe. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's a lemur. They're such curious little creatures. They want to know what's going on. He's so fluffy. Ew. Oh. He's pee. Yeah, he got a little excited. <laughs> Let him come to you. Don't reach out for him, okay? Let him come to you. Let him come. Rhino feeding is $5. Now we're going to feed Henry the rhino. So Henry is the oldest living male Indian rhino in the entire world. Uh, Henry was born May 15th, 1981 in India. There happens to be one more Indian rhino that's a little bit older than him. It's a female in Singapore. She's only a year and a half older than Henry and his parents were taken from the wild to keep them from getting poached. Oh, good try, Boo. And he's quite the traveling man. He came from India to California, San Diego Zoo, and then San Diego Wild Wildlife Park. Okay, here you go. Just put it right in there when you open it up. Nice and wide. No, it's okay. And from there, he went to Fort Worth Zoo 
and then to Tanganyika in Goddard, Kansas. And when he retired as a breeding rhino, he's the sire of over 30 children, one of the leading sires of rhinos ever. Almost did it. We were chosen as the ideal home for his retirement. So he's been here since November 2016, and only three or four rhinos have ever made it to 40 or more. So he's kind of setting a record here. All right, Henry. Just a little walk over and we're gonna go see the cicada tortoise. <laughs> and this right over here is Baggy. You gotta get as close as you can. He's like, mm, turn to the side if I trust her. There's more. Give him more. He's a hungry, hungry tortoise. We don't breed animals for interactions. It's just when we happen to have them. It's great for the animals because they get entertainment, they get socialized, and of course, everybody loves it. Just a short drive over and we can see Gator the Tiger. And if you're wondering why they would name a tiger gator, well, just remember that we're in Gainesville. Carson Springs Wildlife Conservation Foundation is a 501c3 organization. All of our animals can be adopted for a monthly fee starting at $10 and whatever amount that you feel comfortable with. And that is essential for us to be able to feed them, buy toys, do vet work, and it's an automatic monthly deduction on your credit card, and you can sign up on our website, carsonspringswildlife.org, to do that. So something I really want to know, though, is can you adopt the hyenas? Of course, yeah, <laughs> actually somebody did. It takes several adopters, usually, to, to totally support an animal. There's also Rio and Ruby, the Red River Hogs. This tiger right back here is one of only 40 of its kind left in the entire world. And there are peacocks that roam freely all around the property. As you can imagine, they eat, for instance, the hyenas, almost 10 pounds of raw meat a day. Right back here is Tank, and he is a royal white tiger. When he's full grown, he'll be about 650 pounds. Um, you've all been to the grocery store, you know what that costs. And this is Leah the lioness. Barry says that her mate passed away last year. They tried to get her a replacement, but she didn't like him, so they had to send him to New York. This is Cujo the cougar, and he's currently hiding from us. One of Cujo's favorite treats are fresh eggs. They have to have care and a keep a licensed keeper. We have professional zoologists working here, also interns and volunteers, which we accept every year. Next, we met Sunflower. If you adopt one for $50 or more a month, you get your sign on the enclosure. And for even more great things that you could do all around the Gainesville area, click this video right here. All right.